And uh, that's why I used those five atoms in the lump, because it's, if I had used only, a, I mean five by five by five, was a hundred atoms. If I'd used only about five atoms, the jiggling would, from time to time by accident, let one atom move away, and would get lost, and then another, and another. And after some years, I would have lost my, the description of the human race's knowledge. And I want the seed to last longer, so I figured five atoms and calculated that the time for that is uh, billions of years before that gets disturbed by these jigglings. There's Sir? A, oh. Does the lasers give you a chance to work it that small? No, the lasers, lasers are light, and they are used in these devices because they're accurate light. They're very helpful in controlling the light and focusing and everything else, but they can't get any smaller than a scale of about 2,000 reduction because the light wavelength, there's a wave of light is uh, that big. I mean, <laughs> it's millions of an inch, but uh, they can't get any smaller than that scale. Light has a scale, and you can't, it's like using a, uh, chopsticks, right? To pick up something, well, it's not very good, because you can still make it with chopsticks, because they have sharp edges, so I haven't got a very good, analog yet, but it's using some kind of blobs to pick something up that are much bigger than the thing you're trying to pick up and you can't do it. Yes, sir. One thing that's always fascinating to me kind of thought about today is the fact that at one point in time, man didn't know what would happen if we went faster than the speed of sound. Yes. And obviously, we would design something and got there. Yeah. Well, the human eye can really only detect light. That's true. When we know the speed of when it's light. using in the ordinary way. In the ordinary it also way. can detect the sock in the jaw, the sock on the side of the head okay. as a flash too. But the normal uses were like. Now my question is, does physics the law of physics include the fact that uh, matter yes. can actually go faster than the speed of light? No. No, any object which is going slow according to the present laws of physics and relativity, any object which is now going less than the speed of light cannot be accelerated beyond the speed of light. If you keep on pushing it harder and harder, using up more and more energy to give it energy, it goes faster and faster and faster, but what happens is it gets heavier. So to give it a little bit more speed, it's more inertia, right? So it's harder and harder, and you put more and more energy, you put more and more energy, it just gets heavier and heavier, and gets closer and closer and closer, but never quite gets to the speed of light, and certainly never surpasses it. In the machines in which we accelerate electrons, for instance, and to go around like in slack here or wherever, we get them going so that the mass, we've put so much energy in, that they become, they come to something like one in, I've been doing this quick so my number may be slightly off, 160 billionth, that may be slightly off, of the speed of light. In other words, it's not the speed of light, it's short by about 160 millionth, okay? Sorry, 160 million to the speed of light, and uh, 1,600 million. Never mind. Very small fraction. It's very close, and the mass of these things has gotten to 40,000 times the mass they have when they're standing still. An electron becomes a uh, 40, 20 times heavier than a proton. Right? What about antimatter? When we're dealing with antimatter, wouldn't it appear? And what I bring the question up uh, is because. Of a likely community that to bring this up is the fact that in, uh, in the spiritual world, which a lot of people delve in, it's possible that things exist and live beyond our ability to see them. Yes, and, if, and if this be the case, is it possible that they are vibrating at speeds which are greater than the speed of light? therefore have a different law. The only thing I can tell you is the things that I can make observations about. If you ask me questions about something that I cannot see with any instruments whatsoever, they can be doing anything whatever. <laughs> I have no way to tell. I have no, you can have what you want. As long as I can't see it with any instrument, okay? As long as I can't see it with any instrument. But if you give me one clue way in, you see, I can make some tests and I'll be able to answer your question. Otherwise, I'm I'm empty-minded. Well, no, we know all about antimatter. We you see it in the laboratory. We do experiments with it. There's nothing spiritual about it. I mean, excuse me, because the whole world might be completely spiritual and all that stuff. That's fine. But it's the same kind of stuff as matter. It's just as available to experiment. We know we know a large amount about the laws of the way it behaves. Is it vibrate? Is it substance? 
Yes, it's substance in the same way that any other substance is. I mean, normal matter is substance. And whether normal matter vibrates or not is something we'd have to discuss what circumstance. Of course, normal matter vibrates when you hit a bell with a hammer, it vibrates. Yes? A small question. My lady is asking me constantly. What makes the world work? <laughs> Isn't it nice that small questions are so easy to answer? And you have problems with your lady? Those are your problems. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> Is there any other? Yes, yes. If, if this is the area you're now doing research in, no, <laughs> no, I, I play. Okay. I sometimes do. This I've been doing over since about 1950, on and off. You know, I played on a beach one day. I began to think of how small a space I need to write a book, and I thought the way to do it in those days, an easy way, would be to evaporate layers one after the other across on a big area, and that's easy to do. And so, and I had five atoms again for one bit and so forth and found that the thickness I'd have to go is about one inch in order to write the whole information in the book. But it's a one inch square and every inch is the same. So if I sliced that into wires, each one would be the same and I have thousands and thousands of wires, a copy of the same book. And I was absolutely amazed that a book could be put on a wire two inches long. Nowadays that's relatively easy, but at the time I was amazed. I went around to all the people on the beach and said, hey listen, do you know it's possible? <laughs> Didn't sell any bananas. <laughs> yes. What would you say is the most difficult problem? I'm sorry, I didn't finish, but I, I know. I, I work on and off, and so it's not.